In today's video, I will show you how to apply makeup and how to whiten the teeth in the newest version of DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve 19. But before we move on to it, I would like to really encourage you to join over 300 students and enroll my course, Mastering Color Grading in DaVinci Resolve, where you can learn color grading using high-res footage that I am providing. Currently, there's 19 classes and over two and a half hours of content. In the course, you can learn everything from importing and organizing the footage, setting up color management, performing primary and secondary color correction, or grading raw footage. So find out more about the content of the course by clicking on the link below this video. And now, let's have a look at today's clip that has already been converted to Rec. 709 so I don't have to remap anything here. And I have already created a first node and I have just called it face refinement. So let's go straight to the effects and let's drag and drop the face refinement tool onto our node. And now the first new thing in DaVinci Resolve 19 that doesn't exist in the previous versions of the software is that we have this button over here saying detect faces in the frame. And this is because now you can use the face refinement tool on multiple faces in the frame. So if we had here two, three or four faces, the software should be able to detect all of them. And then when we hit this button over here, it will show our mask. And also what's new is that we can manually adjust it because we have here multiple adjustable points. So I can move them around if I'm not happy with how my mask looks like, but usually the face detect tool works very well. Usually I don't do anything here. And now let's just hit the track button and let's track our shot forwards and backwards. And now I will turn off the mask to be able to see better what I'm doing. And then we have the skin isolation tab here where we can adjust our mask further. Blackmagic Design have added more controls over here so we can be more precise. So let's turn the show mask on and we can adjust here the shadow range, then the tint range, and then the temp range. And then also we have region size and region softness. So depending on your clip, feel free to adjust it. But I usually leave it without touching much here as it works pretty well. So now let's just turn off the skin mask and let's move to skin texture. And here I always change the operating mode from beauty automatic to beauty advanced as it gives us more options. And there's a lot of options that have been added in DaVinci Resolve 19. So here we have, for example, side lighting feature that allows us to add lighting separately to the left and the right side of the face. I think it's a pretty cool feature. And here we can separately adjust lift, gamma and gain on the left side of the face. Like this. And then we can do the same on the right side of the face. So this feature can work if we want to add or take out some shadows on each side of the face. And this is my before and after. And then we can also manipulate it even more, changing the area size, bias and the softness. So I'll leave it to you. And now let's move to the eyeshadow, which is also a completely new set of controls and we can adjust the upper and the lower eyelid separately. So let me demonstrate to you how this works. I will maybe find a frame where we can see the model's eyelids better. And let's zoom in. And I will start from the upper eyelids, changing the temp, tint and the hue. Like this. And then we can also adjust the saturation gamma and then the size of the eyeshadow and then the softness and look at this so the way this feature works is pretty amazing and this is before and after 
And now before we move on to the lips and the teeth, let me add some color to her lower eyelid as well. Okay, and this is before and after. And this is how it looks when we play the clip. And here we can also modify the strength of the makeup for each eye separately. Okay, so now let's move to the lips. And here, Blackmagic Design have also added some improvement that can help us be very precise when applying the makeup. So let me increase the saturation here. And let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So now we can see that the lips hasn't been adjusted properly on the sides, but we can use the top outer slider to adjust the color of the lips better on the upper lip. And then we can do the same with the bottom lip, like this. And I'll also adjust the softness a little bit. So let's zoom out and let's move to her teeth. And here in order to whiten the teeth, we will first move gamma towards blue and gain like this and then we can also adjust the blush forehead, cheeks or chin so I'll maybe add a tiny bit of saturation to her cheeks and this is my before and after I hope you like this video and again, please don't forget to check out my color grading course.